Kathleen Vaughn is an artist, professor of art education, and Concordia University Research Chair in Art Plus Education for Sustainable and Just Futures. Her studio and community-based research aims to raise awareness and promote change. Hello, I'm Kathleen Vaughn. As a researcher and artist in textiles, photography, oral history, drawing, and video, I make and evaluate the impact of art that enables us to connect and create change. Change can be personal, community-based, oriented to policy improvements, environmental or social activism. I am also concerned with change that can come from a broadened definition of what counts for knowledge, particularly in university settings. I believe that welcoming art as a mode of knowing and artistic research as a methodology can help us decolonize the academy and bring richness to our connections with the world and ourselves. Much of my work is place-based, considering social pressures of development and questions of exclusion, as well as environmental issues of pollution and biodiversity loss. Some projects focus on my home Montreal community of Point St. Charles, which deals with deindustrialization, income disparity, gentrification, centuries of environmental contamination, and basic issues like not being able to access the St. Lawrence River, which runs right along our southeastern edge. Highways and train tracks have long been given priority over pedestrians or cyclists. My multimodal work, Walk in the Water, Marché sur les eaux, addresses these realities. It's a wall-sized textile map of the much-changed Point St. Charles shoreline and the St. Lawrence. Using distinct layers of cloth, Walk in the Water embodies six instances of shoreline infilling over the years, from 1801 to 1968. Digital embroidery allows the integration of precisely positioned text elements that both label for clarity and enable poetic inclusions. This short clip of the machine working shows it runs at more than 700 stitches per minute as it creates the text line that borders the top layer of the map, all programmed in advance by me and the assistants in the lab in order to make sure that each stitch is a precision made moment of textile time. The finished edged reads, in Point St. Charles, we long for our shorefront, the creatures and waters of the St. Lawrence River. In 1801, it was our front vista right along this edge. Now it is a kilometer away, past infilling, railways, highways, and fences. How can our river become home? Those are my words that capture the overall sentiment of this work but I also wanted to include others' voices, locals, river scientists and activists, even an underwater hydrophonic recording of the St. Lawrence itself. I can achieve this via digital embroidery as well, using conductive thread to create triggers that activate the playback of excerpts from interviews I've done about the river. Walk in the Water thus integrates electronics and current day voices, with interpretations of archival maps and historical research. I can switch up the audio segments according to the venue where the work is shown, including new voices, different languages. Right now, the map speaks English and French, as did one interviewee, local activist Natasha Alexandrov, who asks why locals don't have the right to the river, Trois au fleuve. In addition to interviewing people and collecting their stories, wishes, and concerns for the St. Lawrence, I organize workshops and events that invite participants of all ages to embody their ideas in their own artwork. In this way, I'm aiming to broaden what counts for knowledge, ensuring that artistic embodiments are represented in my research data. Scientific findings are just as important, of course, and so I work interdisciplinarily with collaborators from the environmental sciences at the Université du Québec à Trois-Rivières. By integrating aspects of their research into water quality and the biodiversity and resilience of fish, my own research and creation, 
hope to offer a more explicit understanding, not only of the challenges facing the St. Lawrence, but also of what we can do to support its health and well being. Others on our team bring expertise into the devastation caused by plastic pollution in our water and ecosystems more broadly. It's no secret that questions of environmental sustainability are thought of as wicked problems, the shorthand term that has come to mean problems that reside in complex, ever-changing conditions and whose solutions can cause problems of their own. When the UN is telling us that we're at a point of code red for humanity, it's discouraging. But artistic knowledge can play a part by embodying creative solutions that can make a difference. Art simultaneously values multiple conflicting realities within a single resolved creative work, and in this way models inclusive approaches to complexity and paradox, and also reminds us that we are all connected in one worldwide problem-solving community. And for me, it all starts with our beautiful, precious, vulnerable, and resilient St. Lawrence River. <laughs>